My pastime is fishing, and I was in the fishing club at university. I used to see people leaving behind their fishing lines and lures, and I thought they needed to become biodegradable. Plastic waste is ingested by large marine animals, and it has a bad effect on their health. Or they turn into microplastic particles, and the low molecular weight compounds they contain dissolve in seawater, causing complications by affecting ecosystems. I've been examining how plastics are broken down by isolating enzymes from microorganisms. At first, I thought this could be applied directly to the designing of materials, but it was recently revealed that plastics aren't necessarily broken down in the environment. We have to overcome the problem of even biodegradable plastics taking a long time to degrade or not degrading at all in the ocean. Another problem inherent to biodegradable plastics is that it's gradually turned by microorganisms into inorganic substances with different properties. But a fishing line that weakens every time it's used is not very practical. On the other hand, highly durable lines are not biodegraded. This makes it difficult to achieve both at the same time. The switch function in this moonshot program ensures that the line begins to degrade the moment it's broken and begins to drift in the ocean. It incorporates a technology that leads to degradation after the switch has been turned on. An example is a switch that relies on the oxidation reduction potential. The switch does not turn on when there is a relatively large amount of oxygen in the water, but turns on when the line is buried in mud with little oxygen, turning the plastic into low molecular weight substances. After that, the substances are ingested by microorganisms. I am currently developing such high molecular weight substances that respond to environmental changes. Experiments have to be carried out to make sure the switch turns on, so we've been conducting countless synthesis experiments. First, we have to check the switch in vitro. Then, carry out tests in situ. We carry out analyses at the genetic level on what kinds of microorganisms metabolize the substances using which enzymes, using a next-generation sequencer. We're at the stage where we're looking for social applications of this procedure. This is a molded cellulose product. The cellulose hasn't been chemically modified. It's made from neat cellulose, which degrades well, even in deep water. This is a plastic made by microorganisms. It's extremely tough. It's said to be the toughest PHA in the world. This is polyester made by microorganisms that was submerged at great depths in the ocean. As you can see, it's become degraded and extremely brittle after eight months. We're aiming to realize a clean earth in the future through the development of materials that biodegrade completely after turning on the switch at the right time in the ocean.